Hello everybody and welcome to Benjamin Magnus Plays Ultimate General Civil War. Today we're going to be starting a new series playing the Confederate States. I just finished up my full Union gameplay. Uh, we are playing on version 1.08, which at the time of the recording is the final, the, the newest version of the game, which goes all the way up to Richmond. I don't know if they're going to be adding any more battles. That seemed like a pretty hard end to the campaign there, so I'm assuming this is going to be the full release of the game with all the battles there are going to be in it so let's hop on in alrighty so the voiceover just stopped it'll allow me to talk without being interrupted here so uh, we're playing as the Confederates which means generally having a, a smaller army of of well-trained troops is the Union the thing uh, the, the general gameplay is the Union was to just get a big army as fast as possible you had a lot of men uh, you had a lot of rifles. As the Confederates, you have a lot less men coming towards you. You have a lot less weaponry and a lot less money. So you got to focus more on a smaller army that is better trained and or better equipped. So I'm going to take training. Uh, let's see. We could do logistics and meds, training and recon, recon and logistics. I'm going to take training. That'll get me a lot of points into training, which I believe is veteran cost. It lowers veteran cost. Here we go. Business, army, or politics. We got... Economy, logistics, training, org, or politics and economy. Um, I'm because I've I've got a bunch of points into training already. Politics will get me more recruits and money. Economy is cheaper weapons. So I think we're gonna go with politics, and it'll give me one on economy. We're gonna be playing the CSA, and I generally play on Brigadier General level. Uh, it's kind of like my my wheelhouse. And to my name, we're going to be Benjamin Magnus, just like we always are. Let's see. Politics 3, Economy 1, Medicine 0, Training 4, Army Org 1, and Recon 1. Recon 1's not going to give me anything, so I'm immediately going to need to try to drop a point into that. General, your first assignment is to secure a small coastal fort on the bank of the Potomac River. Your vanguard must hurry up and eliminate the Union batteries while the fort is lightly guarded. The Federals have been alerted and gather forces to block the river pass passage in front of you. Additionally, enemy regiments have been spotted marching along this road. Advance fast and gain ground before the fort uh, is heavily reinforced or else your task will be much harder. The rest of your troops will join you in about half an hour. Alright, not a lot to work with, but it'll do for now. Alright, let's send the Skirmishers over this way. And we gotta get there fast, so everybody's everybody move your butts. I know it's gonna be a uh, a pain in the pain in the butt to run all my men over there, but it's kinda what we gotta do. Let's get the horses across the river. Skirmishers up to the crossing. And there we go, skirmishers. Uh, we got we got good cover. They got good cover. That's gonna be a problem because it means no one's going down quick. Like, let's try to flank them. Try to get around them. We can't let these skirmishers slow me down because the idea is to intercept the the uh, Union infantry before they before they make it to the fort. Actually, doing a pretty good job hitting these guys. Move up on it though. Keep moving. Gotta take these skirmishers out. It's getting close. Union infantry spotted. There they are. I gotta get my skirmishers out over, over into here. Which means we gotta change. We gotta charge with the cav. They're broken already, so it shouldn't be too big of an issue. All right, skirmishers, get up here. There. Good. Those guys are done for. Kemper, run up. Start firing on this dude. All right, just chase. Oh, nice! They were they surrendered. That is really good for me, actually, because that means that those are troops I can I can trade for some uh, some of my own troops. And not having a lot of troops is kind of the Union's thing, or the the Confederacy's thing. All right, so run into the woods here. They're chasing me. That's fine. Turn around and shoot them. Fall back. Shoot. They try to get to the skirmishers that, that retreated, maybe? 
Oh, they stopped. Okay. Alright, you're gonna move over onto this flank here. Run. Good, those guys surrendered. The f there, there are already some line infantry over there, which isn't ideal. But fighting them out in the open is much better than fighting them over here. Benjamin, get up there. Skirmishers, you're going to retreat. Get off the map. They actually got to get into... Oh, shit. The Yankees seem determined to defend the fort. We got reinforcements and supplies. Use them wisely, General. <coughs> Sorry, frog in my throat there. All right, these guys need to get up here quick. Shit's going down. I don't know if they'll have enough... Yeah, they didn't have enough juice to get up to me. That's okay. Here, fire at the guy standing in the open. Because we'll be able to do a lot of damage to them. Yeah. While the skirmishers pin down the other guys. Very good, very good. Now let's get you get this guy over, over back over here where he could be of some use. Come on, move your butts. I need the I need the assistance up here. I need to get to that fort. Well, these two regiments being pinned down means they are not going to be able to defend the fort. Are they charging? Oh, we gotta get another shot off. Fire! Come on, fire, fire, ever fire everything! Okay, we actually got those shots off, good. Right up here. Need some guns in there. Open fire! I think we got them broken. Alright, you need to move up this way. You need to move over here. Move up while you're reloading. Yes, drive them back. Drive them back. And where's my cav? Here it is. If we can drive them out into the open, I can charge them with the cav and just drive them off the map. No, don't chase him. Don't chase him. We don't want that. We do not want that. We want the skirmishers to hit him. We want you to take out the third Ohioans. All right, Alan, take a pot shot. And then the cav will get them on there once they're out in the open. All right, go get them. All right, we are taking these guys down. There you go. All right, time to move on the fort. Boom. All right, are they in melee? I can't tell. Can you shoot that guy from there? All right, the second Ohioans are gone. This guy's chased off. Doesn't look like there's anybody in here, but except the the, ar the artillery now. I thought there was one more unit of of infantry, but I might be wrong. Okay, you're done. They're gone. Fire, fire. You guys don't need to be running. You need to be heading over this way. You guys can take a shot. You're not blocked. I can. S there you go. All right, we're gonna do one more shot, then charge with the cav. All right, drive them off. Hit them when they're in the river, they won't be able to withstand that. So there is somebody in there, but it's not a big deal. Woo, the third Ohioans surrendered. Capturing Union soldiers is a huge, huge, huge boon for me, because it means, I think they, have re they get reinforcements from this way later. Um, it means for me that, uh, that's, that's free troops, basically. Oh, there's shit. There's guys right there. Alright, let's move up on them. Start whittling them down. I don't want to get next to those cannons, because they'll, they'll rip me up good. Alright, you need to displace over this way. You need to move up a little. Hit that guy. There we go. Start whittling him down. I'm going to leave one back here with the skirmishers, and the other ones are moving up. 
We'll drive these guys out, and then this guy will move up in here, and this guy will go t t take out the cannons. Alright, we just gotta wipe those skirmishers out so they're not shooting me in the back later. There we go. Um, yep, you're gonna stay in the middle, you're gonna hang out here, you're gonna hang out here. How are we looking? Conditions all down to, nut to a nub. That's expected, though, because we had them running all over the map. Alright, so why don't you just move up, and as soon as you can, start shooting those guys. Siegfried, you too. And you need to move up, start getting the can. This is gonna hurt. Trying to run up and hit these cannons. Oh, shit. That's what I was worried about. Flanking fire. Alright, route them again, move up. We just need to get lots and lots of troops in here. As many as I can. So we did really well in the first section of the battle. This next part might be a little might be a little hairy. Uh, let's not forget we got two oh one guy over here that supplies. Move him on up. Let's actually have him hang out here, resupply that guy. Alright, so let's take out these Ohio winds and then we can move on the Artie. Can you fire at the artillery? There we go. Move up. Move up. And we're gonna need to try to chase these guys down. So that they can't... Can't come back at me. Took a lot of casualties taking the fort. Those cannons are brutal. Okay, that one's routed. There we go. Crocker, chase him down. Melee, good. Hopefully you'll be okay. Yeah, there we go. Get Miles. Fire at those cannons, fire at the cannons. Fire at the cannons. Here, let's displace you over this way, try to help out a little. Alrighty, nice. How are you doing? You're doing okay. There, get on that. Get on it. The idea is to chase these guys down so they don't have a chance to reform. Keep the pressure on them. First Ohioans surrendered! Huzzah! Alright, now we're gonna need to try to get them off the map too, so just tell them to go wherever it is that surrender troops go. Alright. Good. Crocker, hang out. Cannons are gonna die, no issue there. Wish I could get my own cannons in here. Oh, let's chase him down. Nice! Congratulations, we took the fort. That went well. Fort has served our purpose for some time and has prevented enemy supply ships from passing the section of the river. But now the Union is on the offensive, Ironclad's approach to bombard us. Federal infantry has disembarked west of the fort and is moving to attack. We have called for help and more troops will arrive shortly to support the defense. It is advised to deploy some skirmishers along the ridge west of the fort to delay the Yankee advance. Nice, we have cannons. We need to buy time for our fort's batteries to counter fire and disable the Ironclad's. General, hold your ground at all costs. We must prove today that the Rebellion has a strong foundation that we will fight for every inch of southern soil. Alright, so cannons. What are we working with? Six-pounders? Yeah. Fire on the... Anacostla? Anacostia? Take the position. Good. Do we have any other troops? We don't have any other troops. So let's detach skirmishers from the two largest regiments. And send them down here. here let's get everybody. Everybody's going to have to participate in this. We don't have a lot of units to work with. So everybody do it. All 
All right, make wow, doing a good amount of damage. So just sent these guys up in the forest here. Oh, that's not ideal. That's not ideal. Quickly mobilize your force to defend the fort. Oh, I got him back. Crocker here. Alright, move down over this way. I was hoping to get into the forests before they had a chance to do anything. Um, these guys aren't going to be able to do too much, so fall back. That's all I get. Well, let's send him over this way. Into the enemy's backfield. Look at his kill to death ratio, though. Whew! Re it's not gonna work. So let's, um, you reattach. That's this one, attach. And you two head down this way. Alright, one of the guys is half dead. That's just not enough troops to make a difference. Condition zero. No wonder they're so slow. The idea is to wait for them to overextend and then come in and get their cannons from the rear and their supplies. So I'm gonna move these guys down to the side here while they come at me. Probably stack these guys up over here. All right, almost got one of those guys down. All right, so we're gonna tell him to hold his fire. Nah, don't, don't bother holding your fire. Just come in here, kill the cannons. They're on the move, so they're not loaded. We might accidentally grab the supplies. Get across the river! Alright, supplies. Get out of there. Oh, shit! Fuck. Uh, I'm sorry, Crocker. You need to get the fuck out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Before they before they fire again or you're dead. Oh, they're loaded. Oh, there, there he goes. I'm so bad with cavalry. I mean, I was I did fine there. The only problem was hidden units. I didn't have good uh I didn't have good um Intel on that. Shame. Alright, they're just full on charging. I told the cannons to wheel around. So they'll start doing can- they should do canister shot. Oh, I got more troops. I explosive shot, it does the trick. Oh, we took out one of those. So, wheel around. That's a lot of Union troops. My poor Cav. They are dead. Yeah, that that regiment of uh, Union Union troops in the in the forest there. Didn't know they were there. Cost me. 100 troopers. I mean, honestly, they did They did have a, a good kill-to-death ratio. I lo they killed 500, lost like 120. Oh, there's a bunch of them, aren't there? You need to get your head out of your butt and get back over here. There, some little explosive shots for ya. That might... I don't know if we'll be able to do any explosive from here. We'll see. No, that looked like... No, that was explosive, I think. Alright, move up to the flank here. Keep these guys pinned. I did capture their, all of their supplies, which was nice. No, don't fire at the general. Fire at the guys charging at us. All right, get back up there. Come on, get them. Get them. All 
I don't, I don't know if I believe they have the, the stamina to get all the way to me. I think they already charged once. All right, battle. Try to hit him. Oh, they're gonna get, they're getting in close though, like toe to toe. Oh, that one hurt. Skirmishers, keep hitting that dude. See, cat, see. Oh, we lost a. Uh, I was like Cat Bell. Who's Cat Bell? Lost a commander there. All right, you focus fire back over there. You keep hitting Grant. Oh, poor Alan. Yeah, they got they just got way better cover than he had. They got way better cover than him. See if we can get in here and hit those cannons. All the way around. I mean, we're holding out pretty good so far. These guys are pretty mangled just as just as much as I am at least. Can't fire over. But that's fine. They're firing canister, but we're in some thick forest, so it's not doing a whole lot of damage. Also, any cannons we could capture that they leave in the field, that'll be a boon for us. I should have waited longer to commit to that. Commit to that charge. That would have been smarter. But they they the they did very well the first day of the battle. All right, knock off and start hitting the next one because this one's already retreating. You're not blocked. You're fine. And I think we're good. Just whittle away at these guys. This guy's still firing at me. Come on, shoot him. There we go. Knock one of those cannons off. Oh, you're charging. Okay. That's not smart. The I can't hit him because the commander's in the way. So take the shot at the other one, then charge this one. And hopefully you won't die. Like the commander was in the way, so I couldn't I couldn't it was blocked. I couldn't get in there. Not a lot of men left in there though. Alright, so the skirmishers, they retreated. I think we're fine though. Take those cannons out. As soon as he's dead, then I can hit this one. Oh, there's a charge. Boom! Oh, their morale's low, so they're not, they won't rank fire. Yeah, that, that hurts. Alright, fall back. Turn around. Get into the trees. Rank fire. There we go, now we can. That'll get them. Good. Alright, now we move in behind them. Ammo. Okay, ammo needs to be brought up. Cannons are doing pretty well. Other enemy ships almost gone. Oh, you don't need to be running anymore. I don't want this guy to actually engage the enemy too much. They are... Oh, they're out of ammo. Ah, because I stole their ammo. Ah. Guy's charging in. He's gonna he's probably gonna surrender. Or just die. Enemy ironclads are disabled. Alright, you're gonna move back here. I captured all their all their bullets. Hundred and seventy one versus hundred and eighty four. Not ideal. I don't know who's gonna win that. Who's ever got the best morale? What are you doing? No, just shoot them. Don't move. I don't know. I'm not sure what happened there. So I'm having trouble clicking on the unit in the melee. Kemper, get over there and see if you can help before this guy dies. Oh. Yeah, that's that was an issue.
Oh, uh, that sucked. Fall back. We took a lot of casualties, but we won. And we captured some men, that's good. They don't got anybody left. I didn't expect uh, Grant there to, to just turn a wheel around and uh, come at me. I'd like battle to die. Nah. Okay, we'll just finish this here. Alrighty, so 5,400 to 3,600. They took 3,700. I took 1,600. Uh, I captured 650 men. That's not bad. Let's see, Crocker. 510, but he's dead. Sad. Captured the first Ohio, the third Ohio. Oh, no, that's... Yeah, that's that's the stuff I skir just skirmishers, I guess. Uh, one guy dead, but it was just a captain. Captured some Springfields, some nice 1855s for those guns and some supplies. Okay, got fifty thousand dollars and thirty uh thir three thousand troops. The 642 prisoners were exchanged for a thousand additional recruits. Very nice. So, uh, the first thing we're gonna do is go BAM! One into reconnaissance because that is going to be useful. Where one point into reconnaissance is nothing. And I think the first thing we're gonna need to do is max out politics. Golden recruits. Oh, I had one career point. Apply that. For some reason I thought I- it said plus three reputation. I was thinking plus three career points. Okay, I don't believe we have much in the terms of captured equipment. That's okay. What are what, how many battles we got next? Bull Run, uh, Newport News, and then Bull Run. Oh man! So let's see. Let's get a a major to put in charge of our guns. Give him some extra ammunition. We have four more guns. So why do we? I'm just sitting around in stock, so give him those. Poof. I think this could go up to a 1500. Wow. I didn't think it could, I could go up that high. Fayetteville, 400. Is this a. It's a single shot rifle. Very expensive. Hold off on that, though. So, veterans... Oh. It's already super expensive. Here, let's... Let's open up a new division, at least. Um... Eight more guns. Cav. Shame to have to pay to bring them more cav, but I do. Infantry. Uh, we have... A bunch of these laying around. Let's go ahead and equip that. So at least we have a couple more units to work with here. And then we can look at getting these guys' numbers up. So what did they pick? Morale and Discipline. And Stamina. Endurance Course. Endurance Course is a good one. No, we can keep them at one star. And get the... Get the, the yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Then how much would this cost? If we did veterans? Man, those guys are expensive. Right now, I just need to make sure I get troops in the field, and that'll do it. Oh, you know what? At that, I'll lose... Here, let's get to, like, 500 on vets, I think. Let's do that. And then rookie up to... Can we do 1,000? 1,100? Do 1,100. All right. So that gives me a couple thousand men to work with, 16 guns, and some cav. I'm really bummed that I lost a, an entire regiment of, of men and an entire regiment of cavalry right in the beginning there. But, you know, that's how it goes. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you all next time.